Cheers, I do buckaroos. How the heck are you? So it is the day after uh, the day after uh, St. Patrick's Day as I do this video. Uh, wow, I, I I went ahead a little a little harder than usual. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I went out Friday after work. We went up to uh, uh, Springfield Brewing Company because it's not far from where I work, and I had a couple three. Uh, not only had uh, two mugs, but uh, they're 500 milliliter mugs. Uh, but and then Saturday, I did an all dayer with my friend Matt Kirby. We had uh, all but one brewery in town here. Uh, and it gets all fuzzy from there, but yesterday, I did drink a little bit yesterday, but I stretched it out over a period of time, because I knew I had to work today, so I, I didn't do it hard, but I did I did do the, the Irish stuff that I typically do. Um, but I had to stop by the store today on the way home from work and pick up a couple things. My wife had this recipe for, a, it's like a savory bread pudding, but it's basically a, a Reuben, Reuben bread pudding. And we had the leftover corned beef. Because I made two yesterday, I braised one and smoked the other, and she was using the braised one for this particular application. Uh, so I had to pick up a couple ingredients for that, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to pick up, it was six forty nine a six pack. Uh, I remember a time when uh, this was one of my favorite beers, uh, long before we had a hundred uh, craft beer choices, you know. Um, it was in the 80s, first time I had this, four and a half percent. Harp is a premium lager imported from Ireland, brewed in the classic Pilsner style, as created by Guinness American Craft. Uh, I'm sorry, Guinness German brewmaster in the 19 in 1960. This crisp lager has a fruity nose, clean finish with a hint of malt and citrus hops. I don't know if they do this different. I remember, I remember way back when having it feel a little peppery. Uh, so I don't know if maybe they changed the hops over the years. Um, it seems like everything changes. But this is actually the first time I've had it in a couple years. So here we go. They've changed the packaging. These are these are 11 points. So it's not quite a 12 ounce bottle. 11.2 ounce bottle. That's 6.49. I figured what the hell. I usually cook all the dinners, right? But my wife had this recipe she wanted to try out, so she was in there doing that. So I come out here and have a beer, man. <laughs> Anyway, cheers. So this is a bit of a fruity nose. I wasn't really expecting that to be honest with you. I just said my 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 recollections of this beer from the eighties and the nineties was it was uh got a peppery nose, but I'm not feeling that at all. Could be my my recollection is faulty. <laughs> Could be they changed the stuff over the years. And there it is. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but in all honesty, it's okay. From a craft beer standpoint, now there are certainly others. Uh, I don't know if they're if they're using uh, adjuncts in here, uh, but it sort of feels like it. That, that finish was a little lazier than I remember the beer being. And again, it was six forty nine, and I'm kind of you know reminiscing a little bit. <laughs> uh, mercy. Yeah, I ended up uh, I picked up two corned beefs. Um, one was pretty good size that I, I braised, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with some, some taters, onions, carrots, and cabbage. You know, more traditional. Uh, some like to boil. I do prefer, or just cook a stew in a crock pot, I suppose, where uh, I just prefer the braising method. I, I feel like it brings out more flavor and everything. Anyway, do it any way you want. I'm just telling you what I like to <laughs> do. Anyway, but then I just really, it was such a nice day Sunday that I felt like I ought to smoke something. So I had that second one, it was a little smaller, so you know, I didn't want to spend 12 hours cooking a corned beef brisket, right? But this was a very small one, so it didn't take that long. I used a combination of applewood, a uh, combination of applewood and uh, uh, cherry wood. Because I didn't want to, you know, if I'm doing a beef, big beef, beef brisket, uh, I, I like that hickory. I want a big, bold smoke. But here I didn't want a big, I just wanted a little smoke. just kind of a kiss of smoke. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to overtake the corned beef. Just to, you know, to augment it a little bit. It's really good, man. I'm going to take some of it, though, and I'm going to I'm gonna grind it up into some, some corned beef hash. Because I love hash. Uh, and I love making my own. <laughs> I just do, man. So anyway, cheers. Uh, I had I had Boulevard. I had some Boulevard Irish Ale too. 
yesterday and near the end of the evening I decided I wanted to try my, my hand at a black and tan. Now I have a spoon, uh, but since we moved over here, so not all, not all the stuff got here for some reason, and I'm not sure where it was, but anyway, I couldn't find my black and tan spoon, so I just used a regular spoon and it poured perfect. I did a perfect, I was pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> came out with a perfect black and tan pour so i may try uh, i think i guess they'd call it a half and half with the harp but uh i may try or, or i'm not sure that might be the smittix but i may try it with a harp later use, use this and pour the float the guinness over the top so anyway cheers i am time to beer whisper beer fan just blue beer drink a prefer with the man There, I got a little bit of those pepper notes, but not like I remember. I remember it feeling very peppery, but anyway, all around good guy. Cheers, y'all. Yeah.